So, suicides happen with no warning, no clue they're going to happen. A tick if you think yes, cross if you think no. Hold them up. This is a lesson that's highly unusual. It's specifically talking about suicide and suicide prevention, something that at the moment is not on the curriculum. The question is, should it be? One person who absolutely thinks so is Mike Palmer. He lost his 17-year-old daughter Beth to suicide four years ago and along with two other bereaved fathers joined together to form Three Dads Walking. They've been pressing the government to make these lessons compulsory. So what I'd like you to do is talk to each other about those signs. And any it's now something academics are exploring. This school is one of six across Liverpool taking part in a groundbreaking trial looking at whether suicide prevention should be taught to all pupils. One thing that keeps coming up is that people's suicidal behaviour started at school age. So it started to bring the question is, should the intervention actually be coming out much younger? The trial is based on a programme called MAPS, already being used in Australia. Not only are Year 10s taught how to spot the signs of suicide and how to get help, they're also screened and those identified as high risk are offered an eight-week course of support. So agree is that the door, disagree is here. This randomised control trial by Liverpool John Moores University is the first of its kind in the UK. Funded by the government, it'll look at the safety of such lessons and whether they're effective. So we're comparing what is being delivered in these schools to what happens in schools normally and looking at then whether there's significant differences between those two schools so we can really attribute any changes in outcomes to this programme specifically and really know that that works. Is this the sort of thing that you want to see rolled out in schools across the country? Absolutely, 100%. We need to be proactive with this. There's always the chance that it would have made a difference with Beth if Beth had been more aware and if I'd been more aware. Because remember what we're teaching these kids now, they'll take into adulthood, they'll take into parenthood. It is a real worry. We tend to have a lot more who are self-harming. Staff at this school say it's a growing problem. They don't have the staff, the funding or the expertise to cope with the growing demand for help. And that's where this programme could be hugely beneficial. For us as a school, teaching suicide is a difficult topic and we would feel much better if we had specialised support and training and that's what MAPS offers us. It also offers us intervention for the students that come out as high risk and medium risk. So for us, it gives us a provision that we don't have in school. We'd love them to come to us and say, I'm worried about someone, but they're not going to. Nine times out of ten, they're going to talk to each other. So we again need to give them the skills to be able to know how to support each other. We teach them lots of different skills in school. This is absolutely essential to give them the skills because it can potentially save lives. So what did these children make of the lesson today? I thought it was like really important to obviously learn about it all because like there's so many people our age that are probably struggling but they might not understand that they are. I feel like people our age now are a lot more mature when it comes to like talking about things. So like it shouldn't really be like kept from us because that's just then you don't understand sort of what you're going through. It's more likely that we're going to be able to help our friends now or in the future and if you know how to help them, it might save a life. The government are yet to decide whether to add suicide prevention to the curriculum, but the findings of this two-year trial could well help inform that decision. Mel Barham, ITV News, Liverpool.